I understand you've been trying to incubate and hatch your snake eggs but you're not getting the desired results and you end up being frustrated. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you how soy type affects the incubation of your snake eggs. Stay connected to the end of the video and remember to like and subscribe to enjoy more useful content from this channel. Now, let's get straight to the point. For this video, we'll be using two soil types, the sandy soil and the loamy soil. Let's get the soil. We will also need some freshly laid snail eggs. Let's go pick some. Right, so we have enough eggs to use, let's go straight to the experiment. I prefer using clay pot as vessels for incubating small numbers of eggs because it provides a stable environment for the incubated eggs. Filling pot A and B with loamy and sandy soil respectively. three eggs each for this experiment and following the standard incubation procedure which you could also get by viewing the last um, video I uploaded you understand how this incubation is done in details then we incubate the eggs and water it and we wait Day 22, all snails in pot A containing the loamy soil ashed, all three ashed. None of the three eggs in pot B containing the sandy soil as ashed would like to keep this for more days to check if it's going to hatch. Day 45, the three eggs still hasn't ashed, so I had to bring out the eggs and try crack the three eggs just to see what's going on inside the shells like the reasons why they haven't asked in 45 days the eggs never got to incubate properly let alone hatch loamy soil is the best soil type for you in snail farming most importantly in egg incubation and hatching please remember to like and subscribe to enjoy more contents from the channel on weekly basis See you next time, stay blessed.